So it was the Kedusha scenes, the Baba Rebbe's Shabbos, it was his Shabbos Shabbos. The Kedusha scene was married, it was Shabbos Shabbos. There was a Jew who told over what happened there. He was a child at the time who survived the war and he was saying stories about what he remembered from those days. And he was Zayich to be, his name is Abshlamer Brief. Shmuel Abshlamer Brief. And he was Zayich to be by Shabbat Shabbat Brachas by the Kedusha Sin. All the big, the Shidduch was, the Shidduch was a Sansa Shidduch, you know, the Kedusha Sin. It was an anical from the Divir Chai. And the Shidduch was with the, with the, with the Holy Rasvater, Susi and Lane, I don't know if these names ring a bell. I hope so. It was big chasm. Big Shevard Brachas. So Shabbat Shevard Brachas, they were there, at that Shabbat Shevard Brachas, he said that there was, that they, that it said in all the papers over there, there were more than 10,000 people by Shabbat Shevard Brachas. And the biggest tzaddikim of Europe were there, all came for the chasm. And he said that it was, it was Matzah Shabbos Shevard Brachas. Thousands, thousands of people, and there were tables that were made. It was warm weather. It was nice, and they made many, many, many tables outside. There was no misemedges for this. They made many, many, many tables outside, and the long tables, one after the other, lines and lines as far as the eye could see. He said, and uh, and there was a uh, there was a dais. All the tzaddikim, I'm not going to go through the names right now, right? all the tzaddikim were there at this chasm. And what happened is, so Mazda Shabbos, they, they were finishing, they wanted to finish Shevet Brachas. It was already very, very late. And people started to line up. Because the way it worked is that they had this head table, and there were many tzaddikim across the whole table, and there was a line by all those tables, right? You could picture it. So each row lined up on both sides. They lined up to go to their tzaddik who was at the end of their row. It's like, like a, like a, like a, like Chris Yamsa. So that's, that ended up, that was your tzaddik. That was Bashir. And nobody tried to cut into another line or anything like that. He said it was that everybody was lined up. And people are, are, are pushing and crying and to get to that tzaddik. We never had such a thing that all these tzaddikim are there. And what he remembered, this, this Shlomo brief, what he remembered is that there was the tzaddik, the son-in-law of the Devi Chaim, the Rebbe of Marched of Harnstein, who was who's again on of Harnstein. There's a ga'ayin ha'ga'ayin in Saadi Yisad Eilam. And the Eilam was, by each of these Saadi, was a big tumult, a big commotion. Everybody coming with, quickly riding kvittles. And everybody's coming and pushing and the whole thing. And all of a sudden, the Ramad, Ramad Chadayv, all of a sudden, he, tell, he says that a Gabi Gunuk is enough. And there are people that are crying, a rabbi, a rabbi, and he's Gunuk. Enough. And all of a sudden, you know, he, he wore a, a coat over his back of shoe. He opens up his coat over the back of shoe. And he unbuttons, then he unbuttons his back of shoe. And under that, he wore something else like a vest. And he rips open, he tore it, didn't unbutton, he ripped open the vest. And the people didn't know what's going on over here. And then, and then he grabbed his shirt, he, he, he moved his towels cotton over, and he grabbed his shirt. And he said that Marched of Hans Teipler ripped open his shirt and he bared his chest. And people turned away. And Marched of screamed to the top of his lungs. Rabban Shalom, cook in my heart, say Ryan. Rabban Shalom, look into my heart, look into my heart. I can't anymore. I can't. I can't hear the Tsaras anymore. I can't. I can't. Hook around my heart, sir. I can't. And this Abshleimer said there was a pile on the table of Kritlich in front of him, like a mound. 
and he was sobbing like a baby, and he put his head down, and he put his hands on the kvitlach, and he says, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't anymore. Yiddish Hitzaris. So, what should I tell you? You don't need, need me to tell you this. Each one knows his own Indian. Each one knows his own Nisyayinus. We're coming from that fire of Poland. We say, in, we say by Tisha B'Av Mincha, Al Kain Sien B'Mar Tivke, Yishalayim Titen Koyla, Yishalayim Titen Koyla, Libi Libi Al Chalalayim. It doesn't only mean, it means Jews who were killed, but it, only, it doesn't only mean, you know how many Chalalim there are? You know how many Chalalim there are? You know how many times this happens to me every week now that there's a person who was davening, who was learning, and then ve'inen. He's gone. What happened to him? Where is he? What happened? A text or this or that? Did you hear from him? Anybody know where is he? It's not good, Rabbi. It's not good. Libi, Libi, Achalalayim. What happens when you take a Hasidic Shabbat? He was raised with Dusha Tahar. And then and after the first time somebody showed him on the back of the bus, Lo Alain, something on the phone. He's not jaded like the rest of us with all the things that we grew up with. He was pure. And then someone shows him something. Libi, Libi, Achalalei. We're surrounded by corpses. Lebedike, Lebedike Mason. Libi, Libi, Achalalei. You could see the look in a person's eyes. And they've lost that hope. They just have settled or they've accepted. What am I going to do? May I, may I, al Khalalay. But the, but the, the brach, of course, ends. Kiata Hashem There was such a fire, there was such a fire, the place we're coming from. And there's such a fire that's burning and destroying so many Jews, that fire. But look at everybody who's here right now. Tired. Hardworking people. Okay. Trying to dive and learn, trying to learn a daf yomi, trying to dive in a little bit. Trying to be better every day. Jews who, who still feel a fire burning inside of Lamanigar. So Rabbi Shalom here, across from the Harabayas. Facing the Kaddish Kaddash and we're asking him. Kata Hashem Be'eshi Tzata. We don't know why you lit these fires. We don't know why. These fires, or you allowed these fires to be lit. Not You allowed, we don't know why. You allowed these fires not there or not in our hearts, these dangerous fires. We don't know why you allow these fires. But eventually you promised that Be'esh Atta Asa Liv Nice. That with fire you're going to build everything back. Hashem is going to be for us a fiery wall that's going to surround each and every one of us, our children, our grandchildren, ourselves, our wives, each and every Jew. And the Shekhinah will come back to where she belongs. And the Yishma'ilim won't be anymore here. The Shekhinah will come back to where she belongs. Baruch Ato Hashem, Menachem Sinayin, Right.